In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can divide with integers or negative numbers. To set this up, I want to recall a relationship that we know from arithmetic. If we've got a problem like 3 times 5, which we know to be 15, we can write the problem in reverse as a division problem, 15 divided by 5, and the answer is going to be that other number, 3. So since we know that negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, because they have different signs, we can work this backwards. Negative 15 divided by 5 should be the other number, or negative 3. Similarly, we can do negative 3 times negative 5, because those have the same sign, or positive 15. So we can work this backwards and say 15 divided by the negative 5 should be the other number, negative 3. One more. 3 times negative 5 we know is negative 15, because they're different signs. With multiplication, different signs means the answer is negative. And so working backwards, negative 15 divided by negative 5 should be the other number, positive 3. And what we find is when we were dividing with the same sign, the answer ended up positive. When we were dividing with different signs, the answer ended up negative. Same as the first, as the other example. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. A positive divided by a negative is a negative and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. In other words, what we're saying is when we're dividing with different signs, or I'm sorry, with the same sign, the answer will always be positive. And when we're dividing with different signs, the answer will be negative, which is a real nice pattern because it's exactly the same pattern as we saw with multiplication. Same pattern with multiplication and division. If they have the same sign, the answer is positive. If they have different signs, the answer is negative. So for example, if we wanted to look at 45 divided by negative 9, we say those are different signs, so the answer is negative. Positive 45 times negative 9, or divided by, sorry, and 45 divided by 9 is 5, and so we end up with our answer of negative 5. How about this example? Negative 88 divided by negative 8. Because they both have the same sign, they're both negative. Two negatives divide to a positive. 88 divided by 8 is 11, and we end up with positive 11 for our solution. Technically, we could just say 11, we don't need to write the plus, but I'm just putting it in for emphasis in this video. How about this example? Negative 24 divided by 8. Again, we have a negative, whoops, wrong button. We have a negative divided by a positive 8. Because those are different signs, the answer is negative. And 24 divided by 8 we know is 3, and we have our solution. So what we find with division, if the signs match, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. 